Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create an email subscription box from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And then we'll add this to our Blogger website. So let's get started. In one of my previous videos, I showed you how to create an email subscription box using a service called Contentful. It is also a great service for you to use if you want to create a quick email subscription box for your website. So you can check that video. I will leave the link in the description below. But in this video, we will start designing this uh, email subscription box from scratch. And it is even responsive. So if I make this screen size a little smaller, we can see that the layout changes and we have a vertical layout over here. And if we bring this screen size even more smaller, we can see that here we change the width of our email subscription box. So this is what we're going to design in a couple of videos from now. So let's get started. First of all, let's go ahead and uh, choose the fonts that we want. So we just want one font which is called Roboto. So you can go to Google Fonts and just search for Roboto. And uh, the font is right here. So I'll just click on that. And I'll just select two styles from here, the regular one and also the bold version, bold 700. So I'll just select these two versions and I'll just copy this from here. And here I have created an empty project and uh, it is called email subscription. And I have opened this in this code editor called Visual Studio Code. And I also have a folder called IMG and in that we have this image which we are going to be using in our uh, email subscription box. All right, so first of all, let's go ahead and uh, create our necessary files. So we'll create an HTML file. So we'll type index.html and we'll also create a CSS file. So we'll just name it style.css and we'll also be needing a JavaScript file, but uh, we'll create that later. So for now, let's go ahead and start with the index.html file. So I'll just type exclamation and press tab and we have this uh, basic HTML file code and let's connect our style.css file over here so I'll just type link and press tab and in the href I'll type style.css so our style.css file has been connected now let's also copy the link of the fonts that we copied from here and we'll paste it right here and now let's go ahead and start with the markup of our email subscription box and as for the image, I have downloaded it from uh, this website called undro.com. Just go ahead and uh, click on browse now. These are all open source uh, illustrations and you can use them in your website for free. And uh, I just search for uh, subscription. And uh, I just downloaded this image from here. You can go ahead and uh, change the color of the images right here. Right, so now let's go ahead and start with the markup. All right, so first of all, we will create a container division to hold everything. We'll give it a class of email subscription container. If we take a look at this, we can see we also have a background overlay over here. So this overlay that you see over here with this uh, gray color will stay on top of the content of the website. So you'll be able to see a little bit of the content of the website. And on top of that, you will have this uh, subscription box. So for that, let's also create one more container division for this and we'll call it email subscription overlay. So let's create a division with the class of email subscription overlay. And I'll close this right here. Now, first of all, let's create this close button. So we'll just create a button and uh, we'll give it a class of email close button and in here we will just type plus and then we'll just rotate it to look like close button and after the button we will have the image so we'll just type img and in the sources we will type img which is the folder of our image and uh, the image is called subscribe.png let me just open this in our browser and see how it looks so i have this extension called live server installed on vs code so I'll just right click over here and click on open with live server. So here we can see our uh, button and the image is being displayed over here. Let's go ahead and continue with the other elements. 
So after the image, we have this text content. So for that, we'll just create a container division and uh, we'll give it a class of text content. And in that, we'll have an H2. And here we'll type subscribe. And uh, then we'll create a paragraph. And we'll just copy this from here and paste it over here. Right after that, we'll have a form. And uh, in the form, we will have an input box. So it'll be of type text. And uh, for the placeholder, we will type your best email. And uh, we'll also give it a class so that we can style it later. So we'll give it a class of email input field. Right now, let's create the submit button. So we'll type input. And the type will be submit and for the value we will type subscribe now and we'll also give it a class of email submit button all right that's basically it with the markup of our email subscription box so here we can see we have the button the image the heading the paragraph and the form so now let's go ahead and start styling this page so let's go to our style.css file. Alright, first of all, let's uh, set the size of this image so that we can see everything clearly. So I'll just type email subscription container IMG and uh, I'll just set the width to 300 pixels. Alright, now let's style the other elements. So first of all, we will style the overlay. So we'll type email subscription overlay and uh, we'll set the display to flex so that we can center everything horizontally and vertically. So we'll set the align items to center and uh, justify content to center. And we'll also set the position to fixed so that even if you scroll down or up on our website, the subscription box will stay at the same place. So we'll set position and we'll set it to fixed. And uh, the top, we'll set it to zero and left to zero and we'll set the width to 100% and height to 100 viewport height. So now it is perfectly in the center vertically and horizontally. All right now let's also give it a background color. Now we'll give it a background color with an opacity because we also want to see a little bit of the content from the overlay. So we'll just type RGB A. A is for the alpha that is uh, the opacity. So we'll just give it a black color with an opacity of 0 0.8 and we'll also set the font family to Roboto sans serif All right now let's move on to this email subscription container so let's target that email subscription container and we'll give it a background color of white and uh, we'll also give it a padding of 32 pixels and we'll text align everything to the center and we'll also set the display to flex for the subscription container because we want the image to be on the left and the content to be on the right. All right, now let's also give it a box shadow. So we'll type box shadow and we'll set the values to 0, 2 pixels, 12 pixels, 3 pixels and RGBA 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.3. Now we'll also set the form to display of flex. So we'll type email subscription container form and we'll set the display to flex and we'll set the flex direction to column so now everything is uh, set up correctly now let's style this close button and we'll position it to the top right over here so let's type email subscription container email close button and we'll set the top position to 24 pixels and uh, the right position to 24 pixels as well and we also need to set the position to fixed all right now we can see that it is at the top right corner let's also add some more styles we'll set the font size to 48 pixels we'll set the font weight to bold and uh, color of the text to light gray and we'll remove the background and we'll also remove the border and we'll set the cursor to pointer so that when we hover over this we have a different icon and uh, lastly we also need to rotate this to look like a close button so we'll type transform rotate 
and we will rotate it to 45 degrees. Right now it looks like a close button. And for the image, we'll also add a property called object fit to contain so that uh, it will have the correct proportions. Right, so let's go ahead and target the heading. We'll tap email subscription container H2. And uh, we'll set the font size to 48 pixels. We'll set the text transform to uppercase and uh, margin bottom to zero. And uh, we'll set a margin top of 12 pixels. And let's set the color of the text to 0A0908. All right now let's target the paragraph. So we'll type email subscription container P. And for the paragraph, we will have a margin top of eight pixels and uh, we'll set the font weight to bold and we'll set the color of the text to 1D3557. Let's also add a padding to this text content. So here we'll type email subscription container text content and we will add a padding of 48 pixels. All right, now let's style the form. So for the form, we had already given some styles. We had set it to display flex and uh, flex direction of column. We'll also add a margin top of 32 pixels. All right now let's style the elements inside the form. So let's type email subscription container form. And uh, for the input box, we had given a class called email input field. And for the submit button, we had a class called email submit button. So let's target them over here. We'll type email input field. And uh, for this, we will have a margin bottom of 16 pixels. And let's set a padding of 12 pixels and 24 pixels. And we'll set the font size to 16 pixels. And we'll set the border to one pixel solid 777 and also the font family to Roboto. Right now let's target the submit button. So we'll type email subscription container form email submit button. And for this we will set a background color of 02C39A and uh, we'll just remove the border and uh, we'll give it a font weight of bold and font size of 20 pixels. We'll set the color of the text to white and uh, we'll give it a padding of 14 pixels and uh, 24 pixels. And we'll set the cursor to pointer and the font family to Roboto and text transform to uppercase. Now let's also add a hover effect to this button. So I'll just copy this uh, selector from here and we'll type colon hover and we'll set a background color of 069B7A and we'll also add a transition for uh, smooth animation. So we'll type transition of all to 400 milliseconds. And I think we also had rounded corners for this. So for the original design, we can see we have rounded corners. Let's add that as well. So we'll just go to the email subscription container and we'll add a border radius of eight pixels. All right, that's basically it with the, the desktop version of our email subscription box. Now in the next video, we will make this responsive and we will add the mobile version as well. And then we'll also add some JavaScript to make this appear on the screen after a particular period of time. And when we click on this close button, this should disappear. And then lastly, we will add this to our blogger website. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.